Good morning, friends. We're starting our day today doing a before school skate. Our rink is all ready and the kids wanted to go outside before we start school. And I said, absolutely, that is just fine. I'm not even gonna open this back door to show you because it's just so cold out there. It's I think minus 10 Celsius right now. Using up some energy to start the day and I told Wesley, it's cold out there. I think you're gonna want to stay in, but guess what? He's telling me he wants to go out. So, I'm gonna get this boy's skates on. These boys, these boys of mine, just skated for an hour and a half. It is 10.30. Pardon me? That's exactly an hour and 45 minutes. An hour and how many minutes? 45. Hour 45? Did you go to 845? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, an hour and 45 minutes of skating. That is awesome. Your outside time for the day is done, unless you want to go out again later. But a um, little bit of a late start on school for them, and that's fine, because if they're going to be outside playing, I, I don't mind. These kids over here, though, did get started on school while the boys were skating. Wesley is learning today all of these different numbers. Math. Math. That equal 10. I just wrote all this out on the board that Wesley can look at to be reminded what numbers we can add together to make 10. So here, Wesley, here's what we're gonna do, okay? So these are the math blocks that come with the math you see curriculum. How many is that? 10. You know that one. <coughs> now, you are going to get all these blocks out. I'm gonna give you all the different size and we're going to just line this up. So here is 10, right? 10 plus zero equals? 10. Right? What block is this one, Wesley? What do we Nine. call that one? Nine? Nine plus what makes 10, Wes? Um, one. Okay, so get your one block. Mm -hmm. One. Yeah. One. Is that the same size as the 10? Yeah. Okay, four. and then we can do eight plus Okay, get out your two block. Does that make 10 too? Yeah. Okay, let's go down again. Wesley is doing awesome at his math pages. Simeon is in here with his rosy cheeks <laughs> and cold ears, I bet. Doing some handwriting and Elijah, your cheeks are a little bit rosy, not too much. He's... I also had Bella Clava and Simeon didn't, so. You had a Bella Clava on? Oh. Yeah, but Maybe I didn't have a problem with his head. He had it on Yeah, just head. to cover my ears. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> my ears were cold. I bet. But my ears Anyway, were finishing up some school on. here. Just had a Walmart package arrive at the door. I'm pretty sure I know all that's in this package. We were kind of running out of some cleaning supplies and a couple of supplements too. Oh, it must have shipped in two packages because I did order two of these cleaners. This is the Method brand antibacterial all-purpose cleaner. This is what we use for our bathrooms. And the kids often help out with cleaning the bathrooms and you know, they forget to tell me when they throw out spray bottles until suddenly it's like, hey mom, we're out of cleaners. Oh, why are we out of cleaners? You should have told me. Okay, why don't one of you bring that one? Is the downstairs bathroom the one that's out? Yes. Okay, put that one downstairs bathroom. You know what, I'll put that one in the upstairs closet. I also ordered more window cleaner, which must be coming soon. And then some of the supplements we take. So Andrew really likes to take turmeric. It's good for like reducing joint pain and inflammation. And then also echinacea. I also ordered some elderberry because you know, it's that time of year. I mean, it's not, it is that time of year, but we, I always want to have echinacea and elderberry in the cupboard. Basically what I do with those supplements is we as a family take vitamin C daily. Every supper we take vitamin C. And um, then what I do is if my kids are sick, if my kids are like having runny noses and I've been like around colds, then I start really taking the echinacea. 
And then as soon as I get like a tickle in my throat or I feel like I'm coming down with a cold, that's when I take elderberry. So that's just kind of my, my habit, my routine. Um, yeah, so let's get all this stuff put away. Walmart, Walmart's package with like a whole ton of extra packaging. Still loving having this extra table here in the playroom because it just gives another spot for the kids to sit and do math or whatever they're working on. Just kind of spreads the kids out a little bit more. We're gonna sit down here and do our Bible curriculum. So we're doing this uh, at the bottom here. Sorry, this is an awkward thing to move all together. <laughs> this not consumed Old Testament Faithopedia Bible story or Bible study. The kids each have their own little journals. We're also doing this hymn study. And then where's that poetry book? Oh, I think it's on the windowsill. Elijah, would you go run and get it? It's in the windowsill. One thing I wanted to focus on in this new year, just after Christmas here, is spending more time doing poetry with the kids. So I had bought this book last summer big book of poetry. And last week I read through one whole section. So there's different sections in here, different themes of the poems. And last week I read through all of the animal poems and I got each of the kids to choose one poem that they wanted to memorize. So today is the day when they're all going to be reciting their poems. It was a nice little um, all the kids typed out the poem that they wanted to learn, which was, was a good exercise for them. And I also left it really up to their own timing to work on their poetry. So the younger ones, I was like, okay, you know, I want you to go over your poetry. The older kids, I said, you're reciting this poem next week. I told them what day we were reciting it. And I said, you need to, you know, in your own time, go over it practice it, be ready to recite it in front of all of us. So that was a good lesson, I think, in independence and diligence, them doing it in their own time. But I think everybody's ready and we're gonna hear some poems. I'll just show you a little flip through of this book. So at the beginning here in the table of contents, this is what we did last week, is we just went through and did all the animals poems. So the kids will recite these. And maybe you guys, would you all like to pick another poem to recite next week? I guess. We'll see, we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> I think we'll do it again. I think that um, it's good for you guys. If you should meet a crocodile, don't take a stick and poke him. Ignore the welcome and a smile. Be careful not to stroke him. The woodpecker pecked a little round hole and made him a house in the telephone. Something told the wild geese it was time to go. Though the fields lay golden, something whispered, snow. When the pale moon hides in the wind, wails, and over the treetops the nighthawk sails. just got my little corner up here set up because I am about to film a video and I'm gonna film a video for Made to Homeschool. And I used to always film downstairs and I kind of prefer it because I can just sit on the couch and start filming. So sometimes I do that, but for the most part, it's just easier to find a quiet bit of time in my bedroom and have everybody else in other places of the house then send everybody upstairs to their bedrooms or outside so that I can film like right in the main living area. I finished filming that video. I do like this little corner for filming. It's nice and cozy, bright. Um, so this video was for Made to Homeschool. I will always have the links down in my description box to Made to Homeschool if you wanna sign up. I monthly and posting new videos over there. So if you're looking for more homeschooling encouragement and tips and tricks and homeschooling favorites and different things like that from me, because I know I have homeschooling content here on my channel, but it's kind of like sprinkled in. I don't have a ton of it. Uh, check out Made to Homeschool. You'll really enjoy the community over there, the workshops, and just ask questions. There are many experienced homeschoolers over there that can answer your questions, and um, I'm really enjoying it over there. 
I'm about to just go on a short walk to the mail and you know what? I'm getting all bundled up for it. I'm taking my glasses off because I know that when I come inside, it's going to be, my glasses will just fog up the instant I walk into the door. So you know what? Put them on when I get back. Elijah, yes. you ready to watch the household while I go out? Yeah. He's just finishing a little bit of school there. But considering that you came in to start school at what, 10.30? Yeah. That's not too bad. No, it's, just, it's not too bad. Okay, that was silly to put my gloves on because I just took them off because I can't actually zip up my, my coat <laughs> as I'm wearing my gloves but I am bundling up all the way. The temperature has hardly changed. I just had to go, we have a thermometer sitting right there. It's, it's risen a little bit. It's currently minus seven, which it doesn't sound horrible, but we often get quite the wind chill here too. So I think with the wind chill, it's like minus 14, minus 15 or something. I'm making a spaghetti chili for supper tonight. So I have my ground beef here. I actually just opened up a big package of ground beef and I just put half into a container to go into the freezer and then half is for dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna add some onions and chopped garlic. I also have down here, I'm gonna get this started too. Um, I need to cook up some spaghetti noodles. This recipe is just like it sounds. It's kind of kind of spaghetti, kind of chili. So I'm cooking up my spaghetti noodles. I still have nagging coughs in this house. Um, and then the sauce is like a spaghetti sauce with chili powder and with kidney beans. And then we mix it all together like a casserole, sprinkle cheese on top and bake. And it is really tasty. I think I'm gonna make Caesar salad to go with it. How did the ice feel this afternoon, Sim? Did it feel about the same as this morning or did it feel a little more chippy? A little, a little more. Mm -hmm. Elijah's outside right now, um, flooding the rink. This is his first time doing it. Andrew was gonna do it when he gets home from work and he probably still will. But Elijah asked if he could flood the rink and so He's out there doing that right now. I also added Worcestershire sauce, chili powder, um, some sugar, salt, and pepper. So this just needs to simmer for a little while once I get it all mixed. I'm glad I have this nice big cast iron skillet, but even this, I feel like I'm right at the limit of how much I can put into this pan. I transferred the pasta into this nice little casserole dish I have. I'm gonna start transferring sauce now. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna use all the sauce or just some of it. I didn't really measure, so if it's too much, I might save some sauce and I can always do like macaroni noodles for leftovers one day and use the extra sauce or something. So I'll just kind of Keep an eye on the amount here as I go. And now I'm just gonna top this with some mozzarella cheese. I just pulled this out of the freezer this morning that I had previously grated. I'll be nice and generous with the cheese here. Real nice and generous. What do you think, Wesley? That's gonna be all right. <laughs> that's a ton of cheese, isn't it? Mm. Okay, I think that's good. Just a little bit more. A little mm. bit more won't hurt, right? I actually sometimes stir it in too, just to make sure that like it gets mixed throughout the dish. Oh well, too late. Just kidding, I do wanna mix this in. It just works so much better when, you know, the kids come and serve their own and if there's a whole bunch of melted cheese on top, they just take a lot of cheese and don't leave cheese for the rest of us. You know how it goes. So I'm just gonna mix in that cheese. Pardon me, did you just say that you wouldn't do that? I said I leave it. You would leave the cheese? Hmm. And then I wanna top it with just a little bit more 
Because it is nice to have a nice cheese topping. We just don't need as much. I know what, are we using like too much cheese today or what? What? There's no such thing. Okay, and there it is. I'm just gonna start plating this up. I hope I can find the recipe online for this. I don't even remember where I got the recipe, but I've had it in just like a cookbook where I wrote it down for forever. So, you know, if you don't see the recipe link down below in the description box, then you know I couldn't find it online anywhere. So just send me an email and I'll send you a screenshot of the recipe I have written down, which I actually adjust a little bit. The recipe calls for a can of condensed tomato soup, which I never buy soups. So I just used tomato sauce instead. Thanks for coming along and watching. I am waiting. What is this girl doing? She's crawling under my legs. Where did you go? She's supposed to be, there she is. She's supposed to be setting the table. Okay, we all need forks. That's something you know we need even without me telling you. Okay. Are you saying bye? I am gonna say bye so that you can get started on your, your job, yes. Okay, see you guys next time.